Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a graph to put letters on a pillow, or anything really. It doesn't have to be a pillow. You could also use the same strategy or same tips and tricks to do a blanket or anything crochet that you want words on. Let me pop on the PC and show you. So here we are at stitchboard.com, right there. And you wanna start over here at register. You want to, that's where you get all of the good free options. So go ahead and register. They've never bugged me or sent me spam emails or anything like that. And if you've already registered, log in. That is where we start. It gives us all the good bits for making patterns. And then we are going to go right here to patterns. And on this one here, create a pattern. That's what we want to do. This is so awesome. So now we're going to start here at choose a file. So I'm going to pick this photo here and our stitch category is crochet and we're just doing standard that means single crochet but you can pick Tunisian or whatever else you're working on so you can pick whichever color palette you like I just picked the basic one automatic closest color or you can pick your own colors if you have a certain number of colors you can select them yourself right here you can just pick which colors you're going to be using but it's pretty good at picking colors, but that helps also. Uh, entire palette, you can limit the number of colors. I'm only going to do two. There is only two, but you can pick that. And here you can do the how many stitches across you're going to start with. Anywhere from 150 to 10 or whatever you'd like to do. So the biggest is 150. And this is the good part right here. So you can pick your paper size. For me, I'm A4, but you're probably letter size or whatever uh, works in your country. And pattern and PDF. Yeah, we like that. We want both colors and symbols for our chart. We want uh, a grid every 10 stitches. And graph only? Nope. We want graph and word chart. Uh, show PDF on the screen. That's fine. Or you can download it or email it to yourself. And you can give it a title so we can say... Yeah, family pillow right there. Great. You can put in your company name and whatever else. All this is going to appear on the PDF. So you can actually say, I designed this. How cool is that? I don't really bother. You can put your copyright notice and all that. This is free, by the way. Can you imagine it? Here you can do all these things I haven't really done myself, but you could look into that if it's interesting to you. And let's see it. See my pattern. Dun, dun, dun. So fun, right? Boom, there it is. You wanna check that there's enough space in between all of your letters. Two stitches is good. Right here, we might wanna put in another, another stitch, but it'll probably still just be fine. And there is our chart. So you can see how it, how it works. There's the other half of our chart. So there's 70 rows by 80 stitches across. That's the grid to show you how to like paste it together. And here is the what to do row by row. So 21 rows of just orange and then it tells you exactly how many orange and then white and then orange to do for all your letters. And then it gets detailed when you're doing all of the letters. And what my other tip is just putting a bobby pin or like a hair pin along the edge of your pattern and just sliding it down row by row as you complete the rows. And then also on your on your uh, work, put a stitch marker in every 10 rows or wherever these lines are on your on your chart and that'll also help you keep track of where you are. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.